to my tutorial videos. It's VA Donny once again, and um, I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, here is another tutorial video to help you when you're, you know, still learning how to um, use Gmail. If you're new at it, then I'm glad that you're in my channel because I'll be having more um, tutorial videos and how you can use the features in Gmail. So. Uh, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell icon as well so you will be notified once I have new tutorial videos like this uploaded. Let's get started! So, in this video, I am going to show you how to make use of Gmail labels as um, one of the options that you can try in organizing your emails um, in your Gmail account. So, it's very simple. I've shown you in my um, previous video about uh, this left panel here where you will see all the labels um, that you will either create and you choose to uh, you choose to be shown in this panel or the ones that have been pre um, made or yeah that's been in default been made in Gmail, like the inbox, the start, the important, the old mail. These are examples of the pre-made labels that are um, already available in Gmail as you know default folders or not folders, default labels. Now, um, the these ones here, the PayPal, Toggle, TransferWise, Upwork, YouTube. These are the labels that I created myself. So I chose to. Um, show them in this left panel so if you need to create a label uh, it's very simple there are different ways on how you can do it so you can either create it um, in the email itself say uh, without even uh, without even opening the email you can already create a label how just select that email and uh, see this click that icon and here you have an option to create a new label and it will automatically be added in this uh, selected email okay so that's one way on how to create a label another way is by going through the settings so um, just look for this gear icon here that's for the settings so just click on it then click on settings wait for it to open up <laughs> all right so once you're in the settings page already then just here you have the tab for labels so just click on that and you will see here the different uh, system labels and um, yeah, the system labels and also the labels that you can create can be found here. Okay, so remember what I mentioned earlier about the labels that have been um, pre-made or are already available as default. So these are the system labels and the categories. Okay. And these ones here, these are the labels that you can create. So, just by clicking this uh, this bar, then it will allow you to create a new label. So, just enter, just type in the name of the label that you'd like to create. And if you need to nest it under a an existing label, so just um, click this tick box here, and then you can select a parent label like that. So, um, these. Uh, is uh, you can use this say for example the, the label that you're creating is under or a, a subcategory of a specific um, label that is already existing so that's how it works but if it's a, like a main label then you can just uh, write the label name here and there's no need for you to tick this option for the uh, for nesting that label under so no need for that so just the label name and just create the just click the create button and you're good to go so that's how simple it is on um, how you can um create a label so now let me show you how to hide 
or show labels as you can see it's all, all right so this time let me show you how you can hide or um you can show in uh, a, speci a specific label that you just created so you can do that in different ways so you can do it here in the pane in the left pane so just by going through the uh, the label that you created and you see this three dotted icon here so just click that three dotted icon so you have here several options for you just repeat that Okay, so you can put a color in the specific label or you can either show show if I'm red or hide in the label list or in message list, okay? So when you say label list, this is just here in this list here. So if you need the label to show in this pane, then select the show option here. If you need to hide it from here, then select hide okay um take note though that this here these options here are different so these apply here in the message list okay so uh let's make an example J uh just uh, let's pretend <laughs> Just an example. So this, say for example, this email here is a PayPal. I'm going to label it as PayPal. Okay, so I'm going to add the label PayPal. Okay, and I apply it. Okay, so uh, by going here in the three dotted icon, if I don't want this label shown, as you can see, when I added the label for this email, it showed this this uh, word here, PayPal, right? So if I don't want that shown in my message list, then I just have to hide it. Just I just select the hide in here. So I click hide, and it's gone. You see it? It's gone. So if I want, if I'm the person who wants to, you know, in a glance, I can already see if, what kind of email that is then you can you can show it so just go back here the three dotted three dotted icon go under the message list which is here and click show and it will go back there okay so this is the message list and this is the labels list okay so if i click the three dotted icon here and if i do not like this label shown in this pane in this label list then i can just hide it just click hide and it's gone see then if I click here the more uh, drop down I can see the PayPal label a law or among the uh, hidden labels so if I need to put this back as a shown in on top then I just do the same thing I did before, uh, earlier then just choose show under the label list show and if I go up there, and it's back. Okay. I don't like a lot of mess, so I, I will not like clutter. So I just, I click that there. And that's it. So that's how you can create a label. And that's also how you can show or hide a label from this interface. And of course, there's an option for you to do that too when going to the gear icon here and um you know going to the settings so just go to settings and go here labels just go scroll down and find the label that you created here paypal see this okay so as you can see i have here um so these, these column here, it's for the label list and this one here is for the message list, okay? So there's an option for you to either hide it, show if unread, or show or hide. So that's another a place for you to hide or show a specific label. Alright, so that's it. I hope I have helped. Um, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment down any questions that you have. Thank you. Have a nice day.